In this lesson, we'll be looking at the parts of a circle. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, kindly subscribe and hit on the notification bell so that when a new video is being published, you are going to be the very first person to be notified. Now let's set the ball rolling. In looking at the part of the circle, then it will be very important for us to look at the meaning of a circle. Now, when we talk of a circle, then we are talking about a set of points on a plane, equidistant from a fixed point. Basically, we are talking about a set of points just like we can see here. And these sets of points are at equal distance from a fixed point just like we can see. So it means that the distance from this black point to any of these points is the same distance from where the face point here to any of these points. So that is what it means when we talk about a circle. Now, what is the name for this face point here? The face point is what we call as the center. So when we talk of center, then we are talking about a face point in the middle of a circle that is equidistant from all the points on the circle. And we've explained that earlier on. So that is a circle and its center. Now, when we join all these points, then beautifully we have a circle as this. And this forms a circle. This is all about a circle. Now, let's move to the next part of a circle. The next part is where we have your circumference. We talk of circumference, then we are talking about the total distance around the circle. The total distance around the circle. Or some books may record it as the perimeter of the circle. So that is the circumference of the circle, the total distance around the circle. Now the next part of the circle becomes radius. What is radius? Radius is the distance from the center to any point on the circumference of the circle. The distance from the center to any point on the circumference of the circle. Remember we said that circle is made up of set of points equidistant from a equidistant in a plane. Talk of radio, then I'm talking about the distance from the center to any point on the circumference of the circle. So here we can see the radius here. This is called radius. The next one, the distance from the center to any point on the circumference of the circle becomes a radius. And we have here as the radius. And this would mean when you talk about radius. Having understood this, let's move to the next part of the circle. Now here is where we have a semicircle. When we talk of semicircle, then we are talking about half of a circle. So if this is our circle, then half of this circle is what we term as semicircle. Half of a circle is termed as semicircle. Now the next terminology is what we have here as chord. Chord. When we talk of a chord, then we are talking about a line that joins any two points on the circumference of a circle. A line that joins any two points on the circumference of a circle. Now, if we have this as a circle and this center, then we are talking about any line that joins any two points on the circumference of a circle. So this line can be termed as a chord because it joins two points on the circumference of the circle. That is at this side and then that side. So because this line joins any two points on the circumference of a circle, then we can term this as a chord. We can also have this. This line also joins this part of the circle and that part of the circle. So you can call this as a chord. You also have this one and this line. It joins this side of the circle and that side of the circle. This is called a chord. Any line of this form is what we call as a, a chord. Now the next part of the circle is what we have here as diameter. A diameter is a chord which passes through the center of a circle. So it means that the type of chord which passes through the center of a circle is a diameter. From the previous definition of a chord, we said that a chord is any line that joins two points of a circle. Now, the type of chord which passes through the center of a circle becomes a diameter. That is the clear difference. Now, if this is our circle, they are talking about any line which passes through the center of the circle, and that becomes a diameter. So you can have a vertical line, you can also have a horizontal line. Provided it passes through the center of the circle, it becomes a diameter. That is that. Now the next terminology or the next part of a circle is what we have here as 
secant. Now, there are two definitions when it talks about secant. The first one says that it's a straight line which intersects a circle at two points. A straight line that intersects a circle at two points. Or we can talk about a chord that is extended on both sides of a circle. So when a chord is extended on both sides of a circle, then it becomes a secant or a straight line which intersects the circle at two points also becomes a secant. Now let's practicalize this. If this is our circle, then we are talking about any straight line that intersects the circle at two points. So now let's look at it. This green line intersects the circle at this point. So where the red point is indicated. And then the next one will intersect the circle at that point. And because of these two intersections, this line becomes a secant line. Now the next definition said that we are talking about a chord that has been extended. If you have this part as our chord, when we extend this chord, you can see that the point of extension, it intersects with the circle. We also extend this chord part, so we can see that it intersects the circle at that point. Now let's see, we can see that yes, so it intersects the circle at this point, and also intersects the circle at also this point. So now an extended chord becomes a secant. Why? Because it intersect the circle at two points now the next terminology we have here as arc arc now an arc is any part of the circumference of a circle an arc is any part of the circumference of a circle now let's take any part of the circumference of a circle so if you take this part then we can term this side as an arc so the red part is an arc now this side is known as a minor arc because it's the smallest portion of it so it becomes the minor arc and then the largest portion that's the part in green becomes the major arc so any part of the circumference of a circle becomes an arc now let's move to the next terminology the next one is segments when we talk of segments then we are talking about the area inside the circle enclosed by an arc and a chord the area inside the circle enclosed by an arc and a chord. So the most underlined word here are an arc and a chord and its area. Now, if this is our circle, then we are talking about an arc. So this is our arc. And then we are also talking about a chord. Now this is the chord. Now the area inside the arc and then the chord is what we term as the segment. So this part becomes the segment. Now, because we can see a bigger segment and a smaller segment. The smaller segment becomes a minor segment. And then that of the bigger part becomes a major segment. And that's the meaning of a segment. Now, the next part of the circle is what we have here as a sector. A sector. When we talk of a sector, then we are talking about the area enclosed by an arc and two red eye. The area enclosed by an arc and two red eye we are considering an arc and two red eye. So if this is our circle, then we are talking about two red eye. So, sorry. So first, let's talk about the arc. So we have an arc here. So if this is our circle, then we are talking about the arc. And then the arc comes along with two red eye. So these are the two red eye. Now the area formed by the arc and the two red eye is what we have here as the sector. Now, because this portion is the smallest part, it termed as the minor sector, and then the bigger part becomes the major sector. Now, the next terminology is what we have here as the tangent. Now, tangent happens to be the last part of a circle. So, in talk of tangent, in this video, we are talking about a straight line which meets the circumference of a circle at one point only. A straight line which meets the circumference of a circle at one point only. Now, if this is our circle and there is a straight line, now this straight line touches one point of the circle, only a point of the circle. Now, if this happens, then we have this as a tangent. Good. So this becomes a tangent line. So you have here as a tangent. A tangent. Now, the next one. The point where the circle and the straight line meets or intersect is called the point of tangency. 
the point where the circle and the straight line meet is called the point of tangency. And practically, we can see as this. So this is the point where the circle and the straight line meet. So at this point, we call this as the point of tangency. So this side becomes the point of tangency. The point of tan. Then so it should be A. So tangency. So basically, when you talk of a circle and its parts, these are the stuff that talks about a circle and its parts. So basically, we end to this video here. And we appreciate your presence and your patience into this video. So thanks for watching. Kindly like, comment, you subscribe, and share. This is Bakuma Thinking Beyond Infinity. See you in our next video.